Spa is a driver's track, known for its famous La Source hairpin, thrilling Eau Rouge and changeable weather conditions. Yet the Spa circuit can also be a tricky place to travel to. There are three sizeable cities within striking distance of the Spa circuit. Maastricht in the Netherlands, Aachen in Germany and Liège in Belgium. There are also a number of smaller towns and villages in the surrounding area. Your best option for flexibility and convenience is to drive and stay at one of the towns, cities and villages within an hour's drive of the circuit. If you are starting your journey in the UK, the Euro Tunnel Terminal at Calais is just over four hours driving time from the Spa circuit. If you don't plan to drive, you can take a flight to Cologne or Dusseldorf in Germany, Amsterdam or Eindhoven in Holland, or Brussels in Belgium. You can fly direct to most of these airports from cities around the world. From the airport, you can rent a car or continue your journey by train or bus. Train services also operate to Maastricht, Aachen, Liège, and smaller towns and villages close to Spa from cities across Europe. Most visitors to Belgium do not need a visa, but you should always check the latest entry requirements based upon your individual circumstances. If your journey involves travel via any other country, you should also check the entry requirements too. Camping is a popular way to stay close to the spa circuit and there are numerous campsites to choose from. Some sites have pre-pitched tents, but remember that spa has its own microclimate where the weather is highly changeable and heavy downpours are not uncommon. There are a few hotels in and around spa. There's even one at the circuit, but these hotels can often be booked up months, if not years in advance. A good alternative is to stay in one of the nearby cities, namely Maastricht in Holland, Aachen in Germany and Liège in Belgium. They all offer a choice of small independent hotels and mid-range chains. If you're not reliant on public transport to get to and from the circuit, you could also stay in a hotel, holiday home or holiday park in one of the smaller towns and villages within an hour's drive of the circuit. The Spa circuit is regarded by many as the best track on the Formula One calendar. The forest hills that surround the circuit make for a scenic race with its own microclimate, where the weather is highly changeable. It's common for parts of the track to be wet and slippery, while other parts are under sunny blue skies. Tickets for the Belgium Grand Prix are split into three tiers, gold, silver and bronze. The gold grandstands are highly recommended for the best views over some of the most famous sections of circuit in motor racing. Most gold grandstands are also covered, and in Spa, the chance of rain is high. Gold 1 and Gold 9 are great if you like having a view of the team garages, the pre-race build-up and the chequered flag. Before the race, you'll see engineers making final preparations to the cars, and the drivers coming and going on the grid. You're unlikely to see much wheel-to-wheel -wheel action though, as these grandstands aren't in the braking zones. Gold 7 and Gold 8 are at La Source, a right-hand hairpin and the first corner of the lap. This tight corner demands drivers to hit the brakes hard, and that means you're likely to see them jostling for position and trying to overtake. Gold 2 is located after La Source, and Gold 3 and 4 are at Eau Rouge, a sweeping uphill climb often called the most thrilling section of circuit in Formula One. Drivers must flick left, then right, then straight line it out at thrilling speed. Gold 6 overlooks the chicane at turns 18 and 19. This is the final corner before the drivers accelerate away down the main straight to complete the lap.
Silver 1 and Silver 2 grandstands are located after La Source, heading into Eau Rouge. Silver tier grandstands often lack cover, meaning you'll be exposed to the elements. If you're on a tight budget, the Belgium Grand Prix offers bronze general admission in the countryside sections of the circuit. You can take your own folding chairs and blankets, but be aware that the ground can be rough and bumpy in places. And again, there's no shelter from the elements. You should also be prepared for a long walk from the circuit entrance to some of the viewing banks. Having a car gives you maximum flexibility and you can usually buy a circuit parking permit with your Grand Prix tickets for a nominal fee. Shuttle bus services to and from the Spa circuit operate from cities across Belgium, Germany and the Netherlands. Noteworthy departure points are Maastricht in Holland, Aachen in Germany and Liège in Belgium. Journey times will vary, but services are generally scheduled to arrive at the circuit by approximately 9am. Tickets can usually be purchased at the same time you purchase your Grand Prix tickets. If you prefer to do the journey by public transport, the best option is a train to Vervier Central Station. Then regular buses run between Vervier train station and the Spa circuit. No matter where you're coming from, you're likely to find a train to Vervier Central Station. If you're planning to take public transport, Arken and Liège are good bases because of their regular, direct services to Vervier, which take just 30 minutes. Unless you're camping or staying at a hotel within walking distance of the spa circuit, a helicopter is guaranteed to avoid the race weekend traffic. But remember, helicopter travel is weather dependent and spa is known for its changeable conditions. 